Plate Motion Unit, Lesson 2.2, Listening to Earth. Activity 2, Active Reading, Listening to Earth. Here's what your student screen looks like for this part of the lesson. Today, we will investigate this question. What happens to the plates and the mantle at plate boundaries? In previous lessons, we learned that the plates can move because they are on top of the soft, solid mantle. We also saw evidence of plate movement at the plate boundaries when we observed earthquakes in the sim. This investigation question is still about plates and the mantle, but we are going to focus more specifically on what happens to the mantle and the plates at plate boundaries. Once you have a better understanding of this, it will bring you closer to assisting the Museum of West Namibia in determining what type of plate movement got the Mesosaurus fossils where they are today. Dr. Moraga from the Museum of West Namibia sent us an article that will support our investigation of the plate boundary between the Mesosaurus fossils. This article is not about Mesosaurus. Instead, it's about a scientist and his team who are investigating plate boundaries found on the ocean floor. First, let's review how to use the features of the Amplify Library. Students, if you're not familiar with the features of the library, play the video. Complex texts often have difficult or unfamiliar words or phrases, especially science texts, because science has many specialized words. Being aware of these words and phrases and figuring out ways to understand them will help you better understand what you read. I will model active reading. I'll show you how to annotate to show your thinking, some strategies you can use, such as asking questions and making connections, our focus strategy for this unit, identifying challenging words or phrases, listening to earth. Students, open listening to earth. Let me start by reading the title of the article. Listening to earth. That is a strange idea especially when you think about how listening to Earth might be related to plate boundaries. I'm going to ask a question about that right away. Sometimes, something makes me stop and ask a question. I can record my question as a note. Students, read the first paragraph. Stop after the sentence that ends with powerful microphones that are built to travel deep underwater. Bob Ziak studies plate boundaries in a surprising way. He listens to them. Ziak is a scientist who works for the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, or NOAA, a government department that studies the ocean and the atmosphere. Ziak and his team wanted to know more about what happens on the ocean floor, especially at plate boundaries. Sending people to the bottom of the ocean is difficult, so Ziak and his team used hydrophones, powerful microphones that are built to travel deep underwater. The word hydrophones is unfamiliar. Let me see if the next sentence can help me understand it. Read the highlighted sentence. Hydrophones, powerful microphones that are built to travel deep underwater. This sentence tells me that a hydrophone is a microphone that can travel underwater. But since it is an unfamiliar word, it is important to stop for a moment and really think about what that means. This will help me to better remember what it means from now on when I hear the word. For example, I know that a microphone is what it does. So that helps. And I know that the first part of the word, hi, H-Y-D-R, means water. Words such as hydrate and fire hydrant all have the hydr in them, and they all have to do with water. I can highlight challenging words to help me remember to come back to them. If I wanted to know more about this word, I could take other steps. I could discuss it with my partner later on, ask someone else for more information about it, look it up online, etc. A challenging word or phrase can be something that is completely unknown to you, such as a word or phrase that you have never seen before. Or, like the hydrophone example, it can be a word or part of a word that you have seen or heard before, but you're not sure of its exact meaning. A challenging word can be one that you are familiar with, but this time it is being used in a different context, so it has a different meaning other than the one you are familiar with. Continue reading the rest of the first paragraph. The team sent hydrophones 10.99 kilometers, or 6.83 miles, down into the deepest place in the ocean, an area known as Challenger Deep. Challenger Deep is an underwater canyon, part of a larger landform called the Mariana Trench. 
Ziak and his team didn't expect to hear very much noise so deep below the ocean surface. What they actually found surprised them. Their hydrophones picked up sounds from many different sources. After reading this paragraph, I still have a few more questions. I can make a note of them. Students read the note out loud. What makes these noises? Why listen in this canyon? Students begin reading and annotating the article, Listening to Earth. End of activity. Be sure to complete all your student work and amplify for this activity before moving on.